So in this video, we're doing something very similar to what we did in the last video, only instead of the punch coming straight out in front of you, it's coming out to the side. Now this one you can do as either, again, a vertical fist or a horizontal fist. I'm not too bothered. Do whatever feels best for your wrists and do whichever allows you to generate the most power. So you're gonna start with the bag to your side. And again, you wanna reach out and you wanna be able to touch the bag and at least push it a little bit to make sure that you have the correct distance. Again, you want to bend the legs this time you're going to turn your hips almost to facing the bag, as close as you can comfortably. The hand that you're going to punch with is the one that's closest to the bag. You're going to turn that palm up, make a relaxed fist, place it on your hip. You're going to turn toward the bag, and then the other hand can just come up in front if you want it to, or you can leave it at your side, whatever works best for you. From here, you push, again, leading with the hips. So the right side pushes forward, in this case for me, because my right hand is coming out. The right hand comes out, and then at the end, I settle back. So it's this. So it's not a very complicated move. There's not a whole lot to it. It's just here, body motion. Again, the waist, lower down to end. This is where the power comes from. Make sure you have a solid root. That's allowing you to maintain your structure and your balance as you're doing this strike. Set up for it, and then body motion into the strike. Into the strike. Now I was doing that one with a vertical fist. You, of course, can do it with a horizontal fist. If that feels better, works better for you, that's fine. Of course, the other side would be the same thing. Square off, get your distance, sink, get ready, and punch. Now, you can look either straight ahead when you do this punch, if you want to, but it's best if you look at what you're hitting. Now, with the side punch, you, of course, have the variation where instead of starting stationary and twisting into the punch, you can step into it. So if you're gonna punch with the right fist, you would lead with the right foot, stepping in, sinking, twisting, using the same whipping body motion to generate the power for the strike. The only difference is you step and twist into it rather than starting stationary and twisting into it from there. It's not a bad idea to start with the stationary one and twist into it and then go to the one where you're stepping and twisting in because it's easier to start with your root established in a stationary stance and generate the power from there than it is to start stepping in and sinking and generating the power after you've established the root while you're moving into the correct position. So start from stationary and then if you want to do the variation of stepping forward and twisting in, that's fine also. So one more time, if I'm punching with the right side, I step with the right foot to get closer to the bag, twist, and punch there. Now remember, start light. Do that punch, not with any more force than that when you're beginning. And then as you get more and more used to it and you can generate more and more power, then you can start to put that power into the bag as it develops naturally, not forcing it.
As you can tell so far, these drills are not out of any particular form, but they're important basic movements that I think every martial artist should be able to do. And um, they allow you to practice those basic movements using Tai Chi principles like fajing, internal power, body structure, using the waist and the dantian to generate the power while having a firm root, rather than just working with you know, muscle tension and trying to make sure you're strong enough to hit hard enough. You want to make sure that your body mechanics are working together harmoniously so that you can generate the most amount of power with the least amount of effort. So anyway, as a quick recap, this one, stand with the back to your side, make sure you can touch it and at least push it a little bit. Sink as far as you can comfortably, turn your hips and your torso toward the back using the waist, the lower down tend to generate the power, you push straight out to the side and impact the back, again staying relaxed. You don't want a stiff, rigid upper body as you do this, and you don't want a stiff, rigid arm as you do this. You want to be relaxed and allow the body to generate the force that you need to make that strike happen. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it very useful. Thank you for watching. In this video, I want to talk to you about a product that I've been using for a lot of years now, something that I absolutely love. And if you're into taking supplements, you will probably absolutely love this too. It's called Daily Complete, and it's put out by a company called Pure Trim. This is what it looks like. And the reason I love this so much is because, one, it's a liquid, so I don't have to swallow pills when I take it. Two, it has over 200 nutrients in it. So instead of taking several different supplements, trying to get the same amount of nutrients that I can get out of this bottle, I take one ounce of this and I'm done. Now this is one of the products that I used extensively while I was over in China training and I think it was invaluable for me for keeping my energy up and making sure I was getting proper nutrition while I was doing strenuous training all day long. Now the last thing that I really like about it, it's awesome, is it's just simple to take. So if you're like, all right, it's time to take my supplements with my lunch or whatever, you literally just open it up, get a little ounce glass out, pour yourself an ounce, done, swallow it. And that's it. You're done. You've taken your vitamins for the day. Another nice thing is it tastes pretty good. It basically just tastes like oranges and a hint of vitamin flavor to it, if you know what vitamins taste like. So anyway, I hope you try it out sometime if you're into taking supplements. If you're not, I still hope you try it out, and I hope you learn to love it as much as I do. Daily Complete.